Hey everyone, welcome back to Semantic Tech. Today we are bringing you the latest scoop on the Galaxy Z Force 6 Ultra. Buckle up because there's some interesting stuff coming your way. Back in January, rumors were flying about Samsung dropping not one, but two versions of the Z Fold X1 would be the regular version and the other, a more pocket-friendly fee version. But guess what? Reliable leaks are suggesting something different. It turns out there won't be an Ultra model after all. Instead, we're getting the regular Z Force 6 and a more affordable fee variant. Why the change? Well, for starters, phoneable phones like these don't come cheap. Samsung might have fucked twice about launching an ultra expensive model that could scare off potential buyers. Plus, there's the competition factor. Huawei is on the rise and Samsung doesn't want to lose its top spot in the foldable phone market. So introducing a more budget friendly option could be their ticket to staying on top. Now let's talk about the differences between the regular Z Force 6 and the Fee version. The regular one keeps its sleek design with just a few minor tweaks, but the fee version, it's all about cutting costs. That means saying goodbye to some fancy features like S Pen support and reducing the storage space. Let's talk specs. The Galaxy Z Force 6 boasts an impressive 11.5 inch ultra large 2.4K display with a smooth 120 Hz refresh rate. This means you'll experience stunning visuals with buttery smooth scrolling and responsiveness. Powered by a cutting edge 6 in MediaTek Helio G99 chipset, this piece can handle anything you throw at it. Whether it's multitasking between apps, gaming, or streaming your favorite content. In terms of storage, you won't be left wanting. You can get up to 24 gigabytes of RAM paired with 256 gigabytes of RLM, ensuring you have plenty of space for all your apps, photos, videos, and more. Say goodbye to storage woes and hello to seamless performance. Photography enthusiasts, listen up. The Galaxy Z Force 6 comes equipped with a stunning 50MP Samsung rear camera, promising crisp and vibrant images every time you snap a shot. Unleash your creativity without any limitations. Whether you're sketching, note-taking, or annotating documents, the stylus pen offers precision and control like never before. Now let's talk about the price. To celebrate the launch, Samsung is offering a hopping 50% off promotion from March 17th to March 27th, bringing the promoted price down to just $199. This is an incredible offer that you won't want to miss out on. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates. Until next time, happy exploring. As we all know, the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G is releasing, so let's talk about it. If you have already watched this video, you can skip this part. The much-anticipated Galaxy A55 is on the horizon, and we have got all the details you need. Samsung's Galaxy A50 series has been a standout in the smartphone market, particularly for its impressive features at an attractive price point. Following the success of the Galaxy F54, Samsung is gearing up for the release of its successor, the Galaxy F55. Let's delve into everything we currently know about this eagerly awaited device. Going by historical patterns, Samsung typically unveils its Galaxy A series phones towards the end of the first quarter, so we can anticipate the Galaxy F55 to hit the stage around March 2024, following the release schedule of its predecessors. Shifting gears to variance in pricing, Bluetooth side data hints at three Galaxy A55 models, SM A 556B, SM A 556E, and SM A 556E underscore DS. The SM A 556B seems tailored for Europe, while the others may target Asian markets. While exact pricing details are scarce if we consider past generations, the Galaxy A54 at £449 slash $449, the Galaxy A53 at £399 slash $449, and the Galaxy A52 at £399 slash $499. It's reasonable to expect the Galaxy A55 to stay below the £500 slash $500 mark. Design. Leaped renders showcase the Galaxy A55 in three captivating colors. Awesome ice blue, awesome lilac, and awesome navy. Inspired by the A54, it features the key island design with a subtly raised frame around the power and volume keys, confirming a sleek metal build. The phone has rounded corners, a protruding rear camera array, and a flat display with a noticeable bezel and a punch hole for the selfie camera. Expected dimensions, 161.1 x 77.3. 8.2 millimeters, 6.3 x 3.0, 0.32 inches display. Now, turning our attention to the display. While exact details on the Galaxy A55's display specs remain uncertain, if Samsung continues with the A54's display, users can expect satisfaction. 
Speculations point towards a 6.5 inch flat display featuring a centered Infinity O front camera. Anticipated specifications include full HD plus resolution and a refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. Given the A54's impressive display, any enhancements in this area will surely elevate the overall user experience. Performance. Now let's talk about performance. The Galaxy A55 continues the series evolution, moving from the criticized Exynos 1280 to the improved Exynos 1380 in the A54. Now it's rumored to feature the latest Exynos 1480, a promising upgrade. According to Geekbench 6 results, this new soak is expected to be paired with an unconventional GPU choice, the Xclipse 530 based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. While the CPU improvements may not be groundbreaking, the shift in GPU could potentially enable the A55 to support ray tracing in games, although this feature is yet to be confirmed. The A55 prototype scored 1127 in the single-core test and 3090 in the multi-core test, surpassing the A54 by a slight margin. The device is expected to retain 8GB of RAM, maintaining a balance between performance and efficiency. Cameras. Shifting our focus to the camera setup, rumors suggest that the Galaxy A55 might not bring significant changes in this department. The Galaxy Club report suggests no major changes, but that's not necessarily bad news. The A54 delivered impressive photos for its price. While the rear camera setup seems consistent, unfortunately, there's no news on any front camera updates. If the leaks are accurate, the Galaxy A55 might continue to use the same 32 megapixel front camera sensor as its predecessor, the Galaxy A54. While the A54's front camera delivers decent performance, some users may have hoped for an upgrade given the iterative nature of smartphone releases. Battery and charging. Now onto the Galaxy A55's battery and charging. TUV Rhineland certification reveals 25 LU fast charging with 9V and 2.55 as support. The 3C certification reinforces Samsung's dedication to fast charging in mid-range phones. While exact battery details are limited, we anticipate reliable 5,000 mAh cell for extended usage. Network and connectivity. Moving on to network and connectivity, the Bluetooth SIG certification reveals that the Galaxy F55 will sport Bluetooth 5.3, matching the capabilities of its predecessor, the A54. Consistent connectivity ensures a smooth user experience, especially with wireless accessories. Software. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about the software. The Galaxy F55 is gearing up for launch with Android 14 and Samsung's One UI 6, promising a seamless and user-friendly experience. This combo suggests exciting enhancements to Samsung's ecosystem. Plus, users can anticipate robust software support with the possibility of receiving four major Android updates throughout the device's lifespan. Stay tuned for those latest Android advancements.